You don't want to eat anymore when you don't even eat your lunch at school. It's not about daddy's sex, it's about you are going to school. But school doesn't mean What's the time? We have to leave this house another five minutes. Some people still like school. I'm that world. Mm, guys, this hair. Mommy, Ma? can the queen put someone in prison? What do the police have to do? Police have to do it. That's police job. But some kings on the water, like you know. You know I'm thinking of leaving the set to no maybe next month, but I don't no, know. I might lose it before then no, because no, I don't want to damage this hair. Real. But it still look very nice and neat. So good morning, guys. Today is my no, day to day no, or day no, in no, life. No, no, no. For school run. Mommy, did they even hear you? Sorry? He didn't even hear you. He didn't hear me saying what? Saying bye bye? Yeah. Or saying say time for school run? What did you not hear? <laughs> Okay guys, I just finished dropping the kids, so I was actually chatting with one parent. Normally I don't do that, trust me guys, I don't have time to chat. I see a lot of, hey, there's no petrol in my car. Hey. Oh. So I'm going to go to a gas station, is it called gas station or petrol station, to fill my, can you guys see me proper? I think I can only see my neck, I think it's better now, what do you guys think? So I was talking to a, a one um, about less than a month ago. Uh, my daughter, she's in year six now. She came to me. She was like, "Oh, mommy, we have a new boy. You know, they start school in September, right, guys?" So she came to me. She said, "Mommy, we have a new boy uh, in my uh, in uh, year five. The boy is in year five. She's in year six. And she was like, "Mommy, the boy, she can't speak English." And uh, people are making fun of her, fun of him because he can't speak English. He can only speak Yoruba. So my daughter said she was try to communicate with with him because you know I speak Yoruba to them, even though they don't know how to speak Yoruba. But some some words they can pick some word and say, you know. So she was like, "Mommy, um." She was really sad because she doesn't want to speak to anybody. I don't know, this thing is not the way I want it to be. I don't want to speak to anybody. So I went to him. I say, Kilon, Kilon She. <laughs> I think she was she was trying to say, is everything okay? <laughs> she said she, she asked him that, Kilon She. So, <laughs> like, mommy, I was trying to ask him that, uh, what is happening? Is everything okay and all that? But the little she too can speak she tried to use it to communicate with the boy so the boy just came back from nigeria the parent does bring him back from nigeria so you understand english it doesn't it's not like he doesn't understand but i was told that you know he he doesn't want to speak because the you know the nigeria accent like the way i'm speaking now you know and uh, this so in both children the way they speak is just totally different in a posh way so he was a bit like embarrassed he doesn't want to 
a safe so that's why it was quiet so i would like i would like to know the mom so one day after a few few days i, I my daughter showed me the mom i'm like okay and this is then my daughter told uh, her dad and her dad was like it's not possible that the child will come back from a child will come back from nigeria and will not understand english because my daughter was like oh he doesn't understand english because when they are communicating with him he doesn't reply he's just very shy he doesn't want to talk to anybody so my daughter believed that he doesn't understand english that's why he's not communicating so he told his dad his dad was like it's not possible like a child from nigeria will not understand english like yes so my husband tell uh, my daughter the same thing that because maybe the accent the accent is a bit shy he doesn't want to use his accent because my daughter will now told me that anytime he tried to speak english he have this strong nigeria accent even stronger than mine i'm like okay yeah but you understand english but anyway so i've been wanting to see the mom you know just to talk to the mom and all that i don't know why so anytime we see the mom there was a day i saw the mom because my daughter showed me the mom that mom you know the boy i told you that is the mom so there was a day i went to pick my daughter we we're going so the mom just come in to go and pick his her son So I greeted her, I said, Eka son, ma. And she was like, Eka son. So since then, when we see each other, we are, and me, I'm always in a hurry. You guys, you know me now. I'm always in a hurry. When I pick my children like this, I'm always in a hurry to go. So she would just say, Eka son, or Eka ro. Everybody would just go their own way. So today I have opportunity to went to the mom where she was sitting, waiting for the class to open. I went to her, I'm like, Eka, Ekbeleo, how is it getting on? You know, she, that, Danny. She said to money and everything was okay and all that. Like my daughter told me about um, him when he first came, he's very shy. How is he now? He's getting on. So the mother started talking that um, you know that you understand English. It's not like he doesn't understand English. That even Yoruba, even Yoruba, he cannot even speak Yoruba properly. He doesn't understand Yoruba properly. And I know, you know, back in Nigeria, the way that we are, you know, Bodo in Bo here. We want our children to understand Yoruba to speak but back in Nigeria as I told you guys um, I've worked with different families that educated one that they don't want their children even though they are Yorubas they don't want their children to they don't speak Yoruba to their children they speak English so some children don't live in Nigeria but they don't actually understand Yoruba or they can understand but they can't speak it somehow somehow so the mom was telling me so I kind of get the point that she even he even understands English very he, he, that you understand English very well that even Yoruba that they are saying that that's the only thing he can speak he doesn't even understand Yoruba properly because it's being brought up in the English home why where they speak English it's just like the accent the accent they use you know is much different than the accent we have here you know so that's what we're talking about and um, it was the mom was telling me that um, uh, the teachers all the time the teachers write a letter that is misbehaving is doing this that even though the boy says he's not doing it or maybe if they provoke him and he tried to defend himself you know they will go and report him to the teacher and he'll get in trouble and the teacher will, the teacher will be the, the woman the, her, his mom was telling me that the teacher every day the teacher want to see me after school the, the mom now say you know what anything you do just write it in a letter put it inside this bag and let him bring home because i don't have time to be having parents meeting with you every afternoon when i come and pick him you know so they now you the mom was the, the mom was telling me that they now take it as habits Every single day, they must write a letter inside that bag. Every single day, what he did, what he did not do, that they think he did. So the mom was like, ah, uh -uh, why every day? Letter, letter, letter inside bag. So the mom was like, she told me that she went to ask the teacher that, what is this? The teacher was like, oh, because that's what he do. And we, we uh, you told us we should be writing a letter to be putting in his bag. Because you don't have time to be seeing us after school. So that's why we are doing so that you know what he's doing. So the... Um, the woman said she was really upset that why do you always write a letter that my son did this my son do that that did you see him doing actually all this thing you are saying that he did okay I'm at the petrol station I want to get petrol okay guys yeah
Oh, I bought petrol. Guys, this week has been so good to me. I win five pounds. Can you guys see? Five pounds. <laughs> I played, um, what do you call that lotto? Uh, for life. Yesterday, you know, and I win five pounds. And the other day, I win like 20 pounds. Last week, I win 20 pounds on my lotto, my thunderbolt. Those of you that watch my live video, I mentioned it on there. That is how I win 5 million no, pounds, you know, or 10 million or 20 million. Ah, I can't wait for that day. God. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Money good, though. <laughs> okay, so guys, I'm going home now. And uh, today is Wednesday. I'll be going to work. So, my day today. Okay, guys. I'm back home now. What is my next thing? So, when I usually come back from dropping the kit, what do I normally do? Let's go and find out. <laughs> so, guys. I just came home now. And uh, let me show you guys how dirty the whole place is. Look at this is paint i don't know what they did here i'm planning of painting my living room because i did it last year as i said and some of you have been sending me a message that you are looking forward to that video don't worry guys yes i'll be doing painting because i do painting myself you know what i mean guys yeah if something you can do why not do it why do you have to pay thousands of money for someone to do it when you know you can even do it better you can do what you want like maybe this side you want the color to be more you want it to be light there for you to be wasting your time your energy and explaining you can just do it yourself if something you can do why not hmm so guys look at the dining is dirty look at the floor can you guys see can you guys see shoe there can you see can you see nylon can you see all that look how dirty this dining is can you guys see so i'm going to clean that that is their home my um my 10 year old homework I mean, yeah, I bought this book. The school recommended it for me to buy to help her doing her SAT. So, and my new trainers, how people bought this for me yesterday. You guys see? Nice. Because my husband noticed that most of the time I wear trainers. So he kept on buying me more trainers, more trainers. Good. Monetizing is meant to be at the office table. I don't know why it's on the dining. Oh, I dropped something, guys. Oh, I So guys, my table is nice and clean. And this is the office table. Can you guys see? I've told them, look, they have fire, they have cookie. Thank you. 
have three laptops. One, two, three. You know? When you are a YouTuber, trust me, you need all these things. Sweep the floor. So, guys, my living room is nice and tidy. Look, I look headband. There's some hair there. I'm going to cut it with scissors. My living room is nice and tidy, but how clean is the kitchen? How clean is my office? Gun, 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 gun. My own office. Gun, gun, gun. How clean is this? You guys, look at that. Can you guys see? Can you guys see all those mess? Can you guys see all those mess? But you know what, guys? I'm not going to touch this kitchen now. I'm just going to go to bed and sleep. But before I go to bed and sleep, I want to soak... Um, stock fish i'm gonna soak it because i'm gonna make a four euro later for dinner let me on the light oh can you guys see me properly i think my lightning is good even though i don't on the light oh my god my lightning is so good natural lighting is the best <coughs> thank you to natural lighting <laughs> natural lighting <coughs> so guys this is the stock fish i normally use breaking ah. the salt I'm going to add it and boil water from the kettle I'm going to soak it maybe for about a few minutes but I'm going to leave it because I'm going to bed so I'm going to leave it when I come back I always like so uh, soaking it because stockfish is really hard, you know. And I'm making a foil roll. It's not going to take long what I'm cooking. So I'm going to bring the F4 out from the freezer. Oh, but to show you guys, this is the... Oh, let me never mind. I'll pick that up later. This is the one I normally use. Can you guys see? Uh, this is Tesco brand. It's very, very good. So I'm just going to put some. See, so that it will be defrosting. So, guys, it was my uncle's birthday three days ago, I believe, and my auntie brought me some cake yesterday. The cake was actually big, oh, we've, we've had some yesterday. This is the remaining, and I'm going to have some before I go to bed. now where's my phone i think it's in the living room let's see what the time is can you guys still see the kitchen my kitchen is in a mess but i'm not gonna uh, the time is now let's just say let's just say 10 o'clock look uh, 9 59 so I'm going to bed to sleep. Because if I say let me wash the dishes, let me do this, I will also want to I will also want to uh make the food, do everything before the kids come back. And before I will know it will be time for me to go and pick down, be able to rest. 
and today is Wednesday and you guys you know Wednesday sorry guys you guys you know Wednesday I go to work I work on Wednesday oh, can't bother one of the charger fell so I'm going to lie down I'll see you guys when I woke up I just woke up now the time now is 2.35 the time now is 2.35 can you guys see that is how I set it so I'm going to get up and go and pick the kids because I, I remember I wanted to buy something okay let me just tell you guys I want to buy plant, plantain chips <laughs> so I'm gonna leave the house earlier so I'll see you guys when I come back okay oh my days look at that rainbow I just finished picking the kids from school and we are driving home and you guys can see the rainbow it was raining and it was sunny at the same time and guess what my daughter was like mommy that means it's going to rain I mean no she said that mean there's gonna be a rainbow and immediately she said that we look up and there were rainbow and I remember when we were growing up those days they will say if it's raining and it's sunny at the same time that means an animal is giving birth in the bush. How many of you believe in that story those days? Okay, guys. I just came back um, picking the kit from school. So I want to... You guys look at the kitchen. The kitchen is still messy. Can you see on top of the sink there? It's still messy. So what I want to do... I told you guys earlier that I want to make a four. So what I'm going to do now... I'm going to start with the four. Why the four is on the cooker? I'll start tidying up the kitchen because I'm going to work and I'm hungry. I want to eat. I've not eaten anything since morning apart from the oh, 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 oh. the cake I ate. And I bought plantain chips. I ate that one, but that's not food now. As a mother, as a mother of four, is that food? Is that what I should eat for my daily food? No. So I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna start making the vegetable. You guys already have um you ready? same recipe my foil recipe but in case you are new you want to see i'm gonna carry you along so let's start so guys i'll be using two onions for my foil i'll be using three sweet red long pepper i'll be using a one and a half scotch bonnet this is the spicy one okay guys so i'm gonna wash this take out the seed and i'm going to blend okay have a hero can you guys see oops I'm gonna be using hero for my info about this much I'm going to boil water from the kettle gonna keep this in the freezer later so I have I show up two onions I have one onions I'm going to blend one with the with the pepper and this is the second one Stop. 
so i have my onions i have my iru and this is my stock fish i soak earlier i'm going to pour it so i also have that then i'll leave that side Do you want oat? Yeah. Or later? Later. Oh. Yeah? This. Oh, mm. 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 So I'm going to eat my food now, guys.
Ooh, guys, I finished it now. I'm so like, oh, satisfied right now with what I eat. You guys, look at my tummy. I look like someone who is. <coughs> so, I managed to wash some of the plates, and that's the one I used to eat and feel there. I'll be washing that later. And I want to soak oat for my son. I want to make sure that I eat before I go to work. And most of you know he doesn't really eat. It's just lately he started eating oat, and I'm very happy because he could eat oat. So, I want to soak the oat now. So I'm going to relax. The time is um let me show you guys what the time is. The time is I like showing you guys the time. The time is um 17:54. Mm, 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 mm. It's almost 6 o'clock. So I'm going to relax myself a bit. Normally a hobby get back around 7 7:15. So I'll relax myself make his dinner get my son pack lunch ready for tomorrow get his uniform ready and then Mommy, i wash my uniform i've not even ah! ironed it so i'm going to iron my uniform so i just want to relax so that the food will digest you know what i mean guys so that is it i'm watching uh, I don't know my auntie I, here on I youtube dn vlogs really attacked i just felt like this is something that if i with my children i would never want my children to bully people i would never want my children to make somebody feel less worthy you know so this is my thing if you're someone that you struggle people bullying you bullying right now has come in different oh ways. my god people bully people and they um dn vlog you can follow her uh her channel name is dn vlog i don't know whether you can to see top name but she's one of uh auntie here on youtube i really respect you know i i've been missing her video for the past one week now so now that i'm relaxed i'm watching her video and this is the third video i'm watching this is story time about this <laughs> this uh child bullying uh her and uh, the mom everything is just so funny to me like when the mom said can you do a video about us <laughs> i can't stop laughing oh my god i can't stop laughing i can't stop laughing and this actually remind me of my own experience when i was uh, started growing my youtube channel and that'll be story for another day guys oh my days i just want to share this bit with you guys like so funny so funny as you're expressing bullying please talk to a counselor talk to a parent talk to someone that you trust because that is the way we get around this and that is what i discussed earlier if you guys remember about this bully 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 this is not something that so guys i'm ready for work can you guys see how glowing glowing i am so what i did i just washed my face with water ordinary cold water and i rub coconut oil those of you that you are new you might be wondering what do i use for my skin i use coconut oil this one it doesn't have to be this particular one in case you want to be using coconut oil as well you can use any coconut oil but make sure it's organic you want to use it for your body make sure it's organic so this one is organic is it organic yeah organic can you see so that's what i use so now the time is i like showing you guys the time i'm just watching um sister jessica she make one video she was eating i think plantain with yam you know i'm watching her i've been watching a lot of youtuber you know so this is how you guys check out her channel and support her there look at what my sister is doing on youtube ah, ah, hey this is my sister jazz man 
the lightning does not allow you guys to see properly do you guys can you guys see properly well it's changed again anyway so i'm almost finished she's all she's finished her food and she's just giving us a dance of the satisfaction of the food so that is it and let me show you guys the time the time now is i like showing you guys the time i don't know why oh do, 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 do. can you guys see that is eight eight twenty one so i need to leave the house now so thank you guys so much for watching my day today or day in life right guys right thank you guys for watching i'm going to work now and i'll see you guys in my next video so i start work nine nine o'clock and i finish eight in the morning so i'll see you guys in my next video love you guys bye